10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. Um, Adam, has Jonas won yet? <laughs> uh, you know, I think he still has to play the whole game. Okay, okay. I might have jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> yeah, go. Hmm. Okay, so as you can see, we have a slight problem with Peter's screen, and uh, we're going to be working on that, so forgive us there. But we can see that Joey's building a nice, clean Tetris. Burns the T-piece to build the Tetris wall. There he goes, off to a nice start. It's always nice to start a game with a Tetris. Ben's already in a little bit of junk. There he goes, he cleans it up. I have confidence in Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, very working. I'm coming in hot, you know? Little known fact about Ben, he's a great karaoke singer. I just found that out. Yeah, don't, don't miss Ben on karaoke. No, no. I wouldn't dare. So yeah, on the top we have a couple newcomers. Joey and Peter, I think, have only been with us for two, maybe three years. So they're a bit newer. Uh, and one interesting fact about Frank Westfall down in the bottom left is that he holds the world record on so. the Nintendo yeah. World Championships cartridge. And in fact, he won a tournament on the Nintendo World Championship reproduction cartridge just yesterday. So uh, <clears throat> for those of you that aren't familiar with the Nintendo World Championships, it was a Tetris contest by default. And we have players now who have been playing Tetris on a semi-professional level for 30 years. And uh, one thing I've noticed in these tournaments, never count out a Nintendo World Champion. Those guys are dangerous. They have ice in their veins. So. And uh, in addition to Frank, uh, we do have Robin Mihara here on the side who was third place at the Nintendo World Championships. Another dangerous competitor. And somehow him and Alex play each other every year. Why is that? <laughs> I think they've got that worked out, yeah. to be honest with you. I think little, they've got a, little, a, plan. a little collusion, perhaps. I, think so. I don't know. I think next year we should separate them. But. Hey, Ben's got a little bit of a mess there, but it's nothing he can't handle. In fact, uh, he, he was always very adept at burning. He's one of the burning masters. He can burn long bars. He can burn anything. Every time I look at Peter's screen, I just think, this guy's in trouble. Beautiful. <laughs> right on cue, beautiful burning by Ben. Right back to a clean Tetris wall. All right, we just heard that Jonas won game one, so way to go, Jonas. Blazing that path of destruction r right off the bat. Good job. That's like saying the sun came out today, right? <laughs> I guess we're in Portland, so maybe it's not like that. But where I'm from, that's like saying the sun came out today. All right, don't rub it in about, you know, <laughs> Portland. You can rub it in that Jonas is really good, but not about <laughs> Portland having crappy weather. True. No, I like it here. I'm a doom and gloom kind of guy. All this cheer is not always, always there. Yeah, I find that all the best Tetris players come from places with awful weather, in fact. Yeah. Except for the top six who all live in L.A. That's, that's, yeah. How weird is that? That, that is very bizarre. Yeah. But, you know, when I went to... <clears throat> oh, oh, Ben's got another little mess on his hands. Let's see how he does. Ben's burning nicely. He's, he's, he's fine. Okay. Boom Tetris. That, that's our first Boom Tetris of the day, right? Uh, <laughs> what about at the, what if we sort of say that was round one? Try to delay round two. When you get two Tetrises in a row, we like to call that a buco. <laughs> I like to call lots of things a buco, but in the Tetris realm, boom Tetris. <laughs> J 
Joey's got a nice clean board. He's really doing work up there. And I think I just ruined that for him. There he goes. All right, Frank's got a center well. He's just got to burn that off. Joey's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, he gets the piece he needs, though. Oh, oh, the transition is here. There he goes. He gets the Boom, long bar right on Joey. Q. A bit of a double tap. Nice spin with the Z. But fatal mistake. Good job, Joey. Okay, so Joey's game ends with a 348. And uh, Peter just transitioned with a 265. He's in his, trouble. His screen's looking great to me, Adam. <laughs> oh, and Joey takes round one. Peter, Peter couldn't do it. And Alex won game one against Robin. So way to go, Joey. Way to go, Alex. Good job. All right. And as we can see, uh, Ben's on level 20 with... Uh, 385. Frank's just transitioned with a 427. So that game's neck and neck. Keep your eyes peeled to the bottom of the screen. We got a really good game going on here. You ben know, gets a long bar. Boom, Tetris. Two years ago, this uh, Frank Ben contest would have been third round. You know? Yeah, yeah. Really stepping it up. It's, uh, Ryan makes a really good point is that these first round matchups are so intense this year. Just a few years ago, this would have been a top eight match. So Jonas just took the first game against Jordan Harrison. Good job, Jordan. Thanks for coming out. I think we should start giving prizes to whoever has to face Jonas in the first round. <laughs> well, you get a free bagel or something like that. Well, I don't know. Harry's maxed out the game three times in the last 24 hours, so I, I don't feel too good about playing Harry I'm taking either. nothing away from Harry, but <laughs> Jonas is the 19-time defending champion, I, I'm, I think. <laughs> oh. Excellent job, Ben. Wow. What a, job, what a close game. So as you can see, Ben's up 1-0 over there. All right, so the next bracket we're going to do is going to be <clears throat> the fourth bracket is up next, okay? So I want to take the place of Jordan and Jonas. I'd like to bring up Jeff Moore and Patrick Neifler. I've ne never heard of either one of them, so I'd like to consider them people who kept me out of this tournament this year. <laughs> Patrick Neifler is a longtime player over there. And Jeff Moore is a max out artist. He was the fourth seed this year. Ooh. And I think he got like a 960. So you may not have heard of Jeff Ryan, but he's heard of himself. Yes. And he likes yes. what he hears. Yes, yes. Uh, does it count if I've never heard of them, though? <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on with Robin and Alex. Oh, Joey just got a boom Tetris. <laughs> By Alex, the way, don't, Alex, think I, don't think I didn't see that. <laughs> I met Frank in line yesterday. I'd like to say this. Very nice guy. Boom All touches right, for Ben. Over here, Joey versus Peter. Peter's got a 135. Versus Joey's 100. Oh, uh, Joey's up 1-0. So once again, folks, we're, we might take a short break at the end of round one to address uh, Peter's screen, and we will get that fixed, no problem. I had a lot of jokes planned for Peter, but <laughs> I know. They just, they just seem a little obsolete at this point. All right, Ben's in the zone with a 73,000 point lead. But Frank is cleaning up his wall. Got rid of that pesky center well. You don't want to get fall in love with the center well unless you're Quaid, I think. 
Can we talk about that, by the way? Sure. <laughs> what, you mean Sinner Well Quaid? Yeah. <laughs> He's not trying to do that. Let's not give him any credit for that. That's like a, oh, I'm behind. I'm going to put pieces in the middle. I, well, watching the game tape last year, he seems pretty comfortable with the center well. True, but I don't think he's trying to do it. We, we, just, just to give these guys some idea, I think most players try to keep their well on the right to be safe because it's a slightly lower risk situation to keep your well on the right. Yeah. But, of course, everyone has a different style, and that might not be true of every player, but that's the most common style we have. All right, Ben gets the LPC needs, gets it again. Nice wall. Burning, you know, he's doing a good job of burning when he's about halfway up. I think that's the smart strategy. Play it safe, keep it low. And, and if you play up too high, you will get ahead of your opponent. And if Joey's you get Tetris ready, by the way. Joey's got kind of a rough board, Boom but he gets Tetris. the long bar. All right, and uh, Ben still has a hefty lead. However, Frank does have a clean Tetris wall, so he can come back. Over here, it looks can like... We, can we get an update over here? Sorry. I'd like an update over here. Oh, Robin steals game two from Whoa. Alex. With a score Folks. of 405 to 404. We've they got a game over here. They both died just before the transition. So over there on the side, we have 1-1. One, one. Yes. So we got a game three over here in round one. There is no easy games in this tournament unless Don't I know it. A couple people. Oh, um. Ben with the big exhale. I keep forgetting the players can hear me this year. <laughs> Frank's waiting. He's very patient. There you go, Frank. Another exhale from Ben. He's feeling himself. He in his zone. In case any of you are out there are wondering, it's hard to watch four Tetris games at once. Three, I guess. All right, you guys, over here, we've got a really close match. Joey's got a 396 versus Peter's 382. Ooh, boom they both transitioned. Joey. Joey's on level 22 and Peter's on level 21, so it's a really close match. We have a rumor that Robin might have just been defeated. Has yet to be confirmed. Frank transitioned. Over here on Peter and Joey's match, they both have clean walls. Joey just made a slight mistake, but he got the long bar, so he's, he's alive. Alive and well. And we just got word that Alex defeated Robin Mihara in the third game. Good job, Alex. Good job, Robin. That's a tough, tough first round matchup right there. All right. So we're going to bring up you over to the side here. I'd like to bring up Brian Pellegrini and Matt Schoolmaster to take the place of Robin and Alex.
You know, I've often said if there wasn't a Matt Bucco, there'd be a Matt Schoolmaster. <laughs> mm. Whenever I hear schoolmaster, I just like get afraid of a ruler slapping me yeah. in the hand. Yeah. All right. Peter just died with a 458. Oh my goodness. Peter has a four. Peter died with a 458 626. Joey had a 458 28 and died right after it. All he needed was one more line. Good try, Joey. I think and, Ben and just ben, took Frank. And Ben just. Ben just defeated Frank 2-0. Good job, Ben. Let's give a round of applause to Frank. That was a tough match. I really thought we'd be coasting in the first round. You know, I thought I wouldn't have to say much, but these are really good games. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and bring to the stage, I want to bring up Mike Winzenick and Dana Wilcox. Dana goes way back to the first year, the Los Angeles years. That's right. In fact, did you guys know there are only, I believe, five competitors who've been at all seven tournaments, and Dana's one of them. So, Dana, thank you for coming to your seventh Tetris How are we defining that? Because I've been at every tournament. I have not done well at every tournament, but I've technically been there. <laughs> I, I guess there's only five players who've qualified for every okay, tournament. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's... Let's put me with an asterisk next. And next so that would be, yeah. of course, Jonas, Harry. Well, actually, Alex didn't qualify in 2010. Neither so. did somebody named Quaid. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who he is exactly. Okay, so uh, let's keep an eye on this uh, Dana and Mike game, you guys. This is a really great game. Yeah. So like I said, Dana is a seven-time competitor. Where can we see her as well? She's in a great movie called Ecstasy of Order. Is that what you mean? Yes. Uh, yes. And then, now, Mike Winzenek is a former Nintendo World Championship competitor and a former runner-up. He was second place in 2012. Confirming my theory, never sleep on a Nintendo World Champion. These guys are dangerous. They have ice in their veins. True, but that doesn't sell the movie. <laughs> so let's go back to Dana. That movie's selling like hotcakes. It doesn't need our help. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to help. I don't get a cut of any of that, by the way, people. I'm just trying to help. Thanks, Ryan. I do. So what, I uh, what you're seeing up here is a little practice from Dana and Mike. Is that right? And uh, Brian, can you get that game underway ASAP? If you guys want to practice yeah. for another minute or two, that's okay. But they're, we want to get it started right away. They're getting their thumbs warm. So I'm oh, uh, I don't know. I can check. I think it's random. Boom, touch was for Joey. We're not going to let that one slide. All right, touching base with the Peter and Joey match. Peter has a 114 versus Joey's 174. They're both looking pretty clean and low. There's a lot more to come in this game, so I'll touch base with that in a bit. All right, and over here we've got Matt Schoolmaster and Brian Pellegrini. This match is getting underway. All right, and Joey's building a sizable lead. He's up 230 to 125, and they're about halfway to the transition. So lots of time for Peter to catch up. He's got a nice, clean Tetris well ready to go. He just needs a little help. Okay, it looks like Mike and Dana are underway. Good recovery from Joey there. The Tetris gods threw him a curveball. He hit it out of the park. All right, still 100,000 point gap over here between Joey and Peter. Joey's got a clean Tetris wall, and Peter does too. Tetris for Joey. All right, Dana's getting a little high there. She's going to have to burn, she's going to have to play safe. Mike's got a clean wall. Gets the long bar for a Tetris. Dana's got this. And Dana Both gets the long bar for a Tetris. Good just in time. Ooh. Just Close. like that, she's back in it. A real back and forth of Tetris is here. 
Nice juicy long bar game. And now Joey has more than a 100,000 point lead. But they both have clean Tetris walls. Peter hits a Tetris. And Dana, boom, Tetris. Taking a 50,000 point lead. That's getting to be a significant lead, but Mike has a clean wall. Good build. Boom, Tetris for Mike. Closes the gap to 30. Joey and Peter are approaching the transition. They're about 20 lines out. But we still got about 130,000 point lead over here. Uh, Dana does a smart move, stays low, stays clean. You'll see some people pass up Tetrises because sometimes you have to prioritize survival over score because if you die, you lose. So Mike, not one of those people, by the way. He just got a Tetris. <laughs> you'll, you'll see various levels of risk. And Peter's game is back online, guys. Oh. Oh, uh, we lied. We lied. That's an illusion. But, but we're, we're on the right track up there. Uh, Joey's in rough shape. He's got a huge lead, but his transition didn't go so hot. Can he get out of this? Uh, he, couldn't do, he went for the double tap, and he didn't get it. So let's look. So Peter has a 100,000-point deficit to overcome. Peter with a 365. He just Adam transitioned. He's got a clean board. Would you play it safe, Adam? Would you go for it? Uh, he can line out. If you just get single lines for the entirety of 19 play, you will score 100,000 points. So he has the choice to just line out. And so this could be a long 19 session here. Let's see what happens. He's pretty clean. He's up to 380. He's inside of 100,000 points. 383. Real clean board. He's on level 20. Dana and Mike are really going head-to-head -head over here. It's, uh, it's anybody's game at this point. Ryan's going to take over Dana and Mike commentating. I'm going to take over Peter and Joey. Cool. I got this. Peter with a double, 391. Super clean board. Can we get an update from the side over here? Tetris for Mike, in case you all sneezed at the same time and didn't see that. Uh, and Peter surpassed 400. He's one. a 401. Tetris for Dana. Oh, Jeff's up 1-0, we hear, from Vince. Give it up for Vince, everybody. <laughs> the man owns more cool t-shirts than anybody I know. No, just first round. Yeah. But my source is Vince, so, you know, take it for what it's worth. Okay. Okay. So Peter's up to 420. He's still, st he's still staying safe, but he has a little bit of an ugly board. I was just about to say something, and then I forgot. So anyway, oh. Oh, Mike is up 50,000 points. Anybody's Peter game. just topped out with a 421, losing the match Dana against just Joey. Tetris, so, it's, you know. Good job, Transition Joey. Transition for Mike. And, uh, so we're just going to leave this station empty for a second. Good job, guys. Dana's uh, transitioning in any second now. Boom transition for Dana. I 
think we have ourselves a winner. Wow. All right, congratulations Mike. to Jeff, the four seed. Mike takes the first round over here. And uh, <clears throat> Jeff defeated Patrick Neifler. Thanks for coming out, Patrick. Good job. And I'd like to invite to the stage Yanni and Vince Clemente. I'm going to clap for this one. I know I should stay neutral, but Vince, my dude. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and uh, for those of you watching the stream, I want you to come back at 2 p.m. That's the main event. That's the top eight. That's when the real, you know, test of the Titans begins. But right now, right now we're going to go black. So tune back in in a couple minutes because we got to see if we can fix the upper right screen. So thanks, just, everyone. Just to bring in some people on the stream, should we tell them when Buko is going to be playing? <laughs> that might draw in 50,000 people. That's a good idea. He has a fan club. Okay, so even though we went black on the stream, uh, you guys can still see us, so we'll keep talking. And if we can get Yanni to the stage, where's Yanni? Should I still comment on the black screen? Well, I'll go uh, give updates on Dana and Mike. Okay. That might be a little more interesting than a black screen. Okay, so Mike's up 1-0, and Dana chose level 15. So we're just starting out on a level 15 match here on game two. I'm a fan of the pastel. It is, it is one of the prettier color sets. It is. Does anyone know where Yanni is? Yanni's going to go on his five-minute countdown. Hmm. So if anyone has Yanni's phone number, please text him. Uh, Robin Mihara, please text Yanni. The pastel is so warm. It just reminds right. me of a nice All right, here comes blanket. Yanni to take on Vince. Oh, he has arrived. According to the internet, these two are housemates this weekend, correct? Yanni and Vince? That's correct. They don't have something worked out, right? Where they're not, you know, like Vince gets the couch, but he's going to throw it, that, that sort of thing? I, I know Yanni and Vince quite well, and I know that they'd rather die than throw a game. Okay, good. Let's, let's they, just... are, they are men of honor. Yes. <laughs> Yanni, for sure. All right, Matt Schoolmaster wins game... Wins game one. Good job, Matt. And we want to welcome Brian Pellegrini came all the way from Boston. Is it Boston, Brian? Chicago. Chicago. Oh. Brian Pellegrini came all the way from Chicago. He's a new player, and he qualified with an 850. Amazing. Dana's up 21,000 over here. If we could get someone to uh, fix Vince's camera, that'd be great. By someone, you mean Trey, right? <laughs> Vince is just a, a humongous man, so uh, he, he didn't fit in the camera. Dana's maintaining that strong 20,000 lead. And a uh, brief word about Yanni. Yanni did uh, come here all the way from Finland. And many of you know uh, that he was this year's European Classic Tetris champion. Uh, that in Copenhagen, Denmark, they do a tournament exactly modeled after this tournament. And let me tell you, because I was there, that's a tough tournament. And uh, for, to win that is no joke. So Yanni really is a, a worldwide Tetris champion. And we're happy to have him for the uh, fourth straight year, I believe. I'm going to Finland in December. Do you think he'll invite me over? No. Neither do I. All right, and Yanni and Vince's match has begun. 
And I will touch base with that once they go, uh, get a little further in because uh, we can't see Vince's screen still. Things have changed in our bottom game here. Mike is up 35,000. But Dana gets a Tetris to close that gap. Yeah. But looks like they had simultaneous Tetrises. And uh, when is the transition on level 15? Does anyone know? How many lines? 150? Pretty sure that's our job to know that. Oh, right, right. I don't know. So it's still 130. Still 130. Okay. Yes. So they still transition at 100 to, to 19 at 130 lines when they play 15. So the game is about the same length. Adam is a good enough player that he starts at 18, and I'm bad enough that I never get to 15, so we don't know the answer. <laughs> if you take a close look... Uh, 16 is... I uh, just transitioned to 16. Yeah, it's, it's pretty unfriendly on the eyes. It kind of has that Soviet Iron Curtain feel to the colors. A player like me looks at this and says, I'm going to die soon. And... Uh, <clears throat> Levels 16 through 18 are all the same speed. So once you get to 16, you're at the sort of, you know, faster speed at that point. Ben had an interesting take on that last night. He thinks we should just call it 16 or 18 because it's the same speed. Well, <laughs> that would just be a color choice in that case. Yeah. Uh, we did allow for a 15 choice because we wanted to give lower seeds an opportunity to play somewhere they're more comfortable However, our qualifying scores are so strong that it appears that our entire field is comfortable on 18 now. So it's another thing that's really exciting. And let's face it, watching level 9 games is really boring. So Tetris for Mike. Dana and Mike really are neck and neck right now. Yanni's got a bit of an ugly board. Let's check in with that game. Vince is up 72,000 to 38,000. Vince has a logo. Mike Tetris is, now has an 84,000 point lead, but he's a bit ahead of Dana. The lead is growing, but those lines could come back to get him. Dana gets the pieces she needs. Nice, clean Tetris wall, ready to strike. Boom, oh, Tetris for Dana. Dana with the Tetris. Uh, Mike is playing really solid Tetris right now. Playing aggressively, playing for Tetris is on 19. I don't 19. know, Dana's got another Tetris. She's, she's throwing haymakers right now. Dana's staying in striking distance. Another Tetris. And another. Closes to 30,000. And she is actually behind Mike. So they're actually about even if you take into account. Can you level explain difference. that to us? Well, since Mike is two levels ahead of Dana, he's wasted more of his lines to score that score. So therefore, Dana has more pieces and lines to work with before the game ends to get points. So actually, she may be ahead in some sense at it, this point. Yes. In actual sense, she's not. Takes the triple, very clean. Both players very clean still. Hmm. Oh, gets the pieces she needs. The tough survival here. Oh, mm. couldn't make it happen. That was an excellent round. So Mike's ahead 40,000, and he takes the mat, or he takes the game. Or that was the match. Mike took the match. Congratulations, Mike. Dana. <clears throat> Thanks again, Dana. Good job. A brief update over here. Uh, Vince has 159, and uh, Yanni has a 120. So a pretty low scoring affair over here so far, but it, there's a lot more Tetris to play. Okay. You know Yanni's feeling good when he's not rocking back and forth. Yanni. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to do your quadrant next. Okay. Are we moving on to the next quadrant? Yeah. So I'll still put you last in the next quadrant. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to invite to the stage. Next, we're going to bracket two. And I'd like to invite to the, to the stage Elijah Markstrom and Matt Bucco. I'm sorry, could you repeat that second name? Uh, Matt. <coughs> 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 I don't know. Yes. Touches so, for Yanni. In the red. That's a tough one. And over to the side, I would like to invite Corian from Japan and Rigel Pierce. And a little background on the players we just invited. A little background on the players we just invited up. Uh, Matt Bucco is one of our seven-time qualifiers. He's been in all seven Tetris tournaments. He's also one of the top performing players in the tournament. He got third place in 2010. And I believe he's made it to the top eight, maybe on two other occasions. Is that right, Matt? He's yeah. also referred to as the people's champ. And <laughs> very just, common. You'll hear a lot of chanting for Buko. A lot of people are big fans of his style and his, yeah, his charisma. And his his Buko really is the way to put it. Just his his Buko. His Buko. His everything. I've seen <laughs> I've seen the man with no pants. I'd just like to let everybody know. Yeah. And over here, Yanni and Vince are having a great match. It's neck and neck, and they're both on level 19. So we'll keep you posted on that one. It's like Vince is in a little trouble. Ooh. All right, so Vince tops out with a 277. Yanni has a 265 and a clean board. And Matt Schoolmaster wins his match. Good job. Thanks, Brian, for coming all the way from Chicago. Great job. And Yanni only needs one more line to surpass Vince. And Yanni wins the game. So Yanni's up 1-0. Good job. Now, a few words about Eli. Eli has made it to the semifinals, or the top four, on, I believe, at least two occasions. And uh, he's a very dangerous player. So every time he shows up, he does damage. So uh, we have a really exciting match. Once again, Matt Bucco and Eli could easily be a Final Four game. And that's how crazy our qualifying scores were. So keep an eye on that match. Adam, have you checked the spread on this one? Uh, I What's believe Vegas got the Bucco eli What's the over-under on this? You know, I think that if... If Eli didn't skip tournaments every other year, he'd probably get the edge. But Ooh. I think Matt Bucco's experience gives him the edge here, yeah. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> we got a smile from Eli. He knows we want him to play more. Okay, so we have an open station. And we're going to bring up Bo Style and Sean Miller to the side here. Bo Style and Sean Miller. For my money, he's the best Sean in the tournament. Yanni's got a commanding 50,000 point lead and a cool hairstyle. Whoa, hold on, folks. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right, so this game two with Yanni up 1 0. It's neck and neck. The game just started. Level 18 start. Vince has 77, Yanni has 57 with a clean Tetris wall. Vince working with a little bit of a mess over here. I shed a tear every time I don't see my name on that screen. Not gonna lie. All right, Yanni with the clean Tetris wall, Vince with some digging. Buko with the green shirt, Eli chewing the gum. They're ready to go. All right, that's you it for Vince, and Yanni wins the match. Good. All right, so good job, Yanni. Thanks for playing, Vince. Better luck next time. We're going full screen on this one. Okay, so next I'd like to bring up 
Trey Harrison, our technical director, is going to play Christopher Brady. Christopher Brady. And uh, we don't have a visual on that game, so I'll do some commentating there. And I'm going to check in on the side games. Vince might have lost that one, but he'll be blackout drunk later tonight. So <laughs> he's the real winner. All right. And a few words about our new players. Uh, Christopher Brady, not only is he a Tetris champion, he's also a marathon runner. Ten, so we found out last night. He's in incredible physical condition, so Trey better watch out. I should probably apologize to Chris Brady. He wanted a party last night, and instead he hung out in our room and watched WWF videos. Whoa. We got Buko and Brady on the same side. This one's going to be tough for me. Eli with a 61,000 lead, but Buko has been known to play rope-a-dope. So it's anybody's game. Buko's Tetris ready, but you could pretty much always say that about him. He's that kind of player. Let's hear it, folks. Boom Tetris for Buko. Okay, so a few words about our new players. So as I said, Christopher Brady is also a marathon runner. And uh, Trey Harrison is a former Nintendo World Championship competitor as well. And uh, actually was a close friend of Thor Ackerland on the NWC circuit. So he goes back deep into the history of competitive Tetris. It's been a part of his life his entire life. And we all know that he wants to win as desperately and as with much passion as anyone else here. So let's see what happens. Might I add a personal comment to Trey? Sure. He has two very lovely cats. Beautiful cats, Trey. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, one will sit on your lap, won't leave. Yeah. And as a cat person, I appreciate that. This is why I'm single, ladies and gentlemen. I'm somewhat disappointed that people aren't yelling about Buko's name, but maybe that's because I'm here. Not out there. And you will see a lot of Tetris players. Tetris for Eli? You will see a lot of players on stage with headphones. And I think it's fun to guess what they're listening to. Does anyone want to take a guess? What do we think Matt Buko is listening to right now, Ryan? Um, I think he's trying to drown out me. I think that's everybody's strategy. So just white noise? Yeah. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> I, I, I think Trey's rocking some Rush, maybe moving pictures right now. Ooh. Today's Tom Sawyer, blah, 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 blah. And uh, we know, we know, I think, uh, we know Harry Hong's big on the Rocky IV montage music. And I think if any of you ever need inspiration, the Rocky IV training montage is the best music ever to use. Okay, it looks like Trey and Chris are about to get started. Now, at the end of round one, we are going to go black again to try to fix our technical issues. Uh, so round one is down to just the final quadrants. And then we're going to take a 10 minute break to try to fix our technical issues and come back for round two. So, uh, but don't go anywhere. I uh, just want to warn the stream about a black screen at that time. Tetris for Buko. The, is this right? Is this score is right? The Buko? Okay. Okay, and we are nearing a transition here on the bottom. They've got Eli about 20 or 30 lines left. Eli but is a few lines ahead. 70,000 points. Both with clean walls. Nice talk by Eli. Buko's Tetris ready. And there we go. So... A 70,000 point lead amounts to about three Tetrises. Well, two now, because Buko just got another. Yeah, so, so a Tetris on level 18 is worth about 22,000 points. So you might hear us refer to a lead in Tetrises, and, and now you know why. Once you get to 19, I believe a Tetris is 24,000 points. So you can catch up really quick if the other player is not Tetrising. 
Nice burn by Matt. Oh, transition for Eli. Eli's pretty high, but he's got a clean wall. And he's handling like a champ. He needs a little help. We all need a little help out of him. <laughs> Gets the long bar, Tetris. And Bo just won his first game. He's up 1-0. Good job, Bo. And Corian took game one in his match. Good job, Corian. He's from Japan, correct? That's right. I got roofied in Japan once. <laughs> oh, True <dear>. story. True <laughs> story. <laughs> Wasn't Corian, though. Wasn't Corian. I don't speak about that kind of thing. No. No. I wish I could say I was lying. And Eli won game one over here. Yes. Good job, Eli. Tough game. And over here, it looks like Trey's up 127 to 87 versus Chris Brady. Uh, we're only about 38 lines in, so uh, lots more Tetris to play there. They've both got their game face on. All right, Eli and Matt choosing their sequence and about to go. All right, game two. Matt Buko really wants to extend this match. He's got his hands full. If any, did anyone here see the BuzzFeed video starring Eli? That was really cool. And we know that Eli is a fitness champion of all kinds. And uh, he is, I believe, has a very restrictive diet and a perfect bill of health. So he, we know his concentration <laughs> won't waver. He's not going to die during this round. Is that what you're saying? We, we have two fitness champions up here. It's a part, you, to do Tetris correctly, you have to be in shape, guys. For insurance purposes, I'd like to say that I make no claims about anybody's uh, well-being. <laughs> Somebody could drop dead for all I know, and don't sue me. And Bo takes his match. Good job, Bo. All right, so we're going to move on to bracket one at this time, and we're going to bring Harry Hong and Cameron Yor. Buko's got a clean board. Eli, not so much. Harry Hong is our 2014 champion, and yesterday he maxed it out twice within 40 minutes. And then today, while he was practicing, he maxed it out again. Boom Tetris puts Buko in the lead. Touching base with Trey and Chris. Trey has 305 oh, and Chris right Brady back. has 246. So Trey's up by about 50,000, 55,000. He's got a clean Tetris wall. Both players, Chris Brady with a Tetris brings it to within 40. And Trey fires right back with a Tetris. So he's maintaining that 50,000 point lead. And there's still about 40 lines out from the transition. So I'll touch base with that game in a bit. Trey with the Tetris. Okay, we've got a call for Cameron Yore. Is Cameron Yore here? Cameron Yore. If anyone's friends with Cameron, please give him a text. Eli seems to have recovered well from all that death talk. Uh, He's got a clean board. But Buko, boom tackles. Any sign of Cameron? All right, calling Cameron once on Cameron, twice on Cameron. Cameron, you're. Okay. All right, touching base on this. Chris Brady with a 357, Trey with a 450, so it's turned into a 100-point lead. Five lines out from the transition, folks. This one's about to heat up. And Trey transitions. Ted just for Buko. 
And Chris Brady transitions with a clean wall. Tetris for Eli. Uh, Trey does a good job of cleaning up a little bit of trouble there. And he's back in business. Holding on to now a 75,000 point lead. But Chris Brady's very clean building Another Tetris. Tetris for Eli. Okay. We just heard that Corian advances. Great job, Corian. And uh, thanks again to Rigel for coming. You did a great job. We really appreciate all of our lower qualifiers, including me and Vince, the tournament organizers, because it's, it's a tough game. And Trey wins. Chris Brady tops out with a 428. Trey with a 484. So Trey's ahead by one, 1-0. One -oh. OK, so to the stage. We're still waiting on Cameron. He's going to be on the countdown soon for a forfeit. Uh, we're going to bring up Jin Morgan and Terry Purcell to the side here. You know, Adam, what's difficult for me in this bottom game here is Eli kind of looks like my brother. So whenever I glance, I kind of think, hmm, I hope that guy loses. And then I go, oh, wait, that's not my brother. They do both have that kind of that Terminator look. You know, you know you're in trouble with these guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Matt getting pretty high, but he, he stays clean. He stays low. Eli also playing pretty high. But they're both, they're both handling oh, these high walls Tetris pretty well. Eli. Transition. He transitioned to a t into a Tetris. So uh, Cameron had a little... Cameron's a little late, but we're going to let him play his match. We're just going to give him a few minutes. All right. Eli has transitioned. He's up by 100,000 points. He's got a clean wall. Buko's got four lines to transition, and he's setting up. Matt, wisely staying low, staying clean. You don't want to tempt fate on your transition. He gets the long bar, and he transitions. There we go, Buko transitions. That's always a, it's a great feeling when you transition with the Tetris. It's the only way, really. Unless you're me, then it never happens. Looks like Chris Brady stumbled out of the gate with a... 35,000, and Trey wins the match with a 118. Good job. Great job, Chris. It's just a tough field. Tough hey, field this year. They're both winners in my book. Correct. I, I count them as both personal friends. Okay. So, you guys, watch out for this match. This is my favorite match of round one, which is my 16-17 seed. Let's bring up Jake Stein. And Chad Muse to the stage. Ooh. And Matt Bucco is fighting for his life. What a pole vault there. Holy cow. He's like the new kids on the block in the sense that he's hanging tough. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. He drills it back down. He gets the double. No. He gets the long bar. He's clean again. Matt's not dead. He's yeah. not dead yet, guys. Yeah, he's like a nice bubble and bath. Real clean. Let Real me remind smooth. you guys that Eli is ahead in points, but he's also two levels ahead in Level, so he's not as far ahead as it looks. If there Mac we go. and Tetris, he can come right Boom back. Tetris. Eli's got a clean board, too, and, he's, and there's a Tetris, you know? There's bubble baths on both sides of the screen here. And Matt sets up a Tetris. Boom. Still a 127,000 point deficit. These guys are on a great pace. Eli already is about to surpass 600,000 points, and he's only on level 26. It, once we pass 600 in a tournament, we know we're playing some good Tetris people. But Matt's not going anywhere. He's only down by 100. And he's got six whole more levels to work with. But he... Eli is just a machine, though. Long bar comes, gets the Tetris. I think next year I'm going to incorporate gum into my Tetris plane. It seems to be working. <laughs> all right. All eyes on the bottom screen. Eli's about to get to the death screen, level 29. He's hitting the end of the line, people. He wants to get that final Tetris. Will it give it to him? 
He didn't have Das Charge, so, but he did on that one. Good Tetris job. Tetris for Buko. He got that final Tetris to secure his 160,000 point lead. You guys, Buko needs about five Tetrises right now. He literally has to Tetris out to win this game. He has to get all Tetrises. Hey, Buko's new nickname is Death Row Records because he's creeping while you're sleeping. There's a There's Tetris. A Tetris. Got it with 100,000, but his board's just not clean enough. He's not going to be able to get him any more Tetrises. Oh, that, that was rough, but great match. Guys, 633 to 724. That's an amazing, amazing round one great score. Great game. Great game. Eli, Eli advances. Great job. Okay, you guys, it looks like the next up is going to be um, uh, Adam Cornelius, myself, versus Quaid. Oh, who wants to get money on this one? I got Adam. Whoa. Jake and Chad, we still have no idea what's going on on that screen. Yeah. Let's put Quaid on the screen that doesn't work, because who cares? No, we're under a strict, I'm not allowed to throw him off uh, rule. We, we, we had a discussion last night. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm playing this one straight. Okay. Trey, it's on you. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. Both Chad and Jake warming up at 19. That's how you do it, folks. Warming up on 19 is like picking the biggest guy in the bar when you look like me and be like, I'm going to go punch that guy. Adam coming off a personal best, according to Facebook. It's anybody's game. Wow. Folks, we're joined by the one and only Vince Clemente. Let's give it up for Vince. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm here now. Now would be a good time. Let's give it up for all these guys who put this tournament together. Trey, Adam, Vince, the volunteers, everybody. Yeah, uh, thank you guys. Uh, well, okay, thank you. Uh, we have Cameron warming up against Harry now. He's, he made it. So uh, Harry's our number one seed. Cameron's our 32nd yeah. seed. Yeah, it's going to be tough to beat Harry. Yeah. Cameron made some noise a couple years ago. What kind of noise? Uh, he upset 
Oh, I he thought he meant literal noise. He was screaming or something. <laughs> yeah, he's got the loudest hand clap. Yes. This side of the Mississippi. If my mom knew we were here, she'd be very excited to know that I was announcing my brother's match. Does that make you uh, tear up a little inside? or? I'm soulless, so I have no tears. What happened? In, as somebody who just played Vince, tell us, walk us through this. What are the players thinking right now? Um, you know, you're really just trying to ignore the announcers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Smart. Um, Smart. If I was really good enough to qualify, I wouldn't listen to me. Yeah. I know there's a lot of pressure up there, you know? Yeah. You end up playing a different game. You try and... What was your and, strategy? Um, well, last night, me and Yanni were sharing a, sharing a room. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. And, and you I decided. tried to make sure that I snored as loud as possible good. all night. Good. Um, we kept our other brother in the other room for that reason. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> there he is, right there. Yeah. He's the only guy who comes to a Tetris tournament and asks people to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do like his t-shirt, though. Eh. It's all right. Yeah. All right, we got Terry Purcell up 1-0 oh, oh against up Jim. Oh. Tell us about Jen. She came in uh, 32nd last year and... Stepped it up this year. Yeah, this year she qualified with a 660. Yes. She's from uh, Indiana. Yes. You know. Yes. Good Unlike job. me, she went home and practiced this past year. Yeah, what's, what's going on, Ryan? Um, you've, com you've made the same score, I think, every year. Yeah, that, you know, once I hit 423, I just go, I'm done. <laughs> Why should I prove myself beyond this? Now, back in 2010, were you better than uh, Quaid? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are you a little jealous that he's one of our top players here? Um, no, because you I don't still live with my parents. Oh. <laughs> well, it's Tetris or live alone. But, right? but, you know, if there was some magic pixie dust and you could just, like, make me a better Tetris player, sure, I'll take that magic pixie dust. Yes. When you're coming up with the board, do you ever just want to automatically put Jonas right in the middle? Do you ever just say, let's put him right there? Um, control C is Jonas <laughs> yeah, always. Is that or just control, uh, yeah. 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 Control V. Tell us about the tournament. Um, this guy does all this. These two right here. Come and on. And Tell Adam. us. And Adam. I didn't want to throw him off. He's playing. Well, I mean, this is the seventh one. It scores better and better uh-huh it looks like we're going towards you know one year having everyone be a max out and how many millions do you make off this um 164th of a million one? hmm if my I math know, i don't know what that equals if my math is good which it's not i don't know what that is <laughs> i do know quaid has a 125 lead over adam Adam's got that deep stare, though. Yeah. I think he's really focused. He's coming off his personal best, so yeah. it's anybody's game. Oh. Oh. Jake. Jake is topped out. Looks like Chad takes that one I with the 60-point lead. I think 6, we've got our lead. winner on that one. Quaid with the Tetris, unfortunately. I don't know about anyone else, but this is, you know, my, my favorite time of the year. I look forward to this and everyone coming. And I'd just yes. like to thank everyone that comes ef year after year. Uh, we wouldn't continue to do this if uh, everyone didn't show up and keep playing. And 
Um, as a, a little piece of advice, when you're going to be sentimental, give it a little more, you know. You think so? Yeah, gi give it a little okay. more, you know, <laughs> you know, like this. Watch. Okay, do it. Watch. Everybody, I'd, I'd really like to take the time to just thank you for coming out this year. You know, this is our favorite time. So when you pause like that, oh, okay. it really feels like you're feeling it. <laughs> Try it again. All right, everyone. Good. Yeah. Go on. Um, this is my favorite time of the year, and I'd like to thank little everyone. Slower. Little slower. A little slower. Okay. A little slower. I'd like to thank everyone. A little faster. A little faster. I'd like yeah. to thank everyone. Let me handle the sentimentality. Okay. okay. All right. You, 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 you can, I think you could do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You set up the tournament. Your job's done. Okay. L let me take it from here. <laughs> it is a good time of year. We've got Tetris. Mm -hmm. um, Halloween is around the corner. Yeah, what are you going to dress up as this year? Um, I'm not quite sure. I have a few options. Okay. I have an idea, but I don't know how to execute it. Well, maybe we can get someone to help if you, you know, just put it out there. I want to be a safe space. <laughs> how would one dress like that? Well, what do you got so far? Nothing. Oh. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I should also mention that my birthday is in a few weeks. Oh, so happy, happy early this birthday. Is, this is my favorite time of the year. Okay. It's the trifecta. Tetris, Halloween, birthday. Then it's Christmas. I think that's correct. And then I cry myself to sleep every night during that <laughs> part of the year. Boom, Tetris for Quaid. When does the uh, crying stop? <laughs> Never, Vince. Oh, Never. Okay. It just intensifies during the holidays. I was looking for next, next October 1st. Yeah. No. Ask these six guys I'm sharing a one-bedroom apartment with this weekend. Never ends. <laughs> we got Chad with a 63,000 yeah. point lead. Now 85,000. We should probably get back to our jobs. Yeah. Boom Tetris for Jake. Yeah. He's got a nice clean board. Yeah, Jake's good. He's uh, got options for Tetris right now, see? Yeah. Jake was rocking the uh, non-side well. He's, he got it back. But Chad has also, uh, you know, got a nice clean board. Yeah, both got clean boards. Chad's a bit ahead. Tetris for Quaid, but nobody cares. This is a real close game we've got going on the bottom mm -hmm. here. Harry took round one. Barely. Whoa. Barely Harry. Hair bully. Barely Barry? Hair bully. Hair bully. Bear Harry. <laughs> hmm. What's going on over there with uh, Terry and Jen? Yeah, we haven't got an update in a while. Oh, Tetris for Chad. Jin is up by 100 in the second round. Just transitioned. For all of you who's too hard to turn your head left, that's what's happening over there. Well, we got a transition for Quaid here. Oh, uh, looks like Adam topped out. And Quaid has won the takes first, the first round. match here. Oh, Quaid moves forward. Chad, Jake got a great game going on down here. Oh, did you Whoa, see that did spin? did you see that? I did, yeah. Wow. That's a real Tetris master right there. Somebody like me could never do that. Have you even seen it before, though? First time. Oh, wow. First time, yeah. Tetris for Chad. We're going Tetris full screen here. For Jake. We got about 30 lines to the transition here. And, uh, Chad's got quite the lead. But yeah, but Jake's a power player. He, he is. He can do this. He is. Jake won our Southern qualifier this year. Yeah. And, uh, 
What I'm at, getting at the at Let's is, Play Gaming Expo, one of our sponsors. Oh, Chad's in a little trouble. Yeah. He'll clean that up, though. I have faith in both of these players. But you got to get worried. You know, the transition's coming, and if you have, uh, you're, you're stacked a little too high. Yeah. You're in for a surprise. I wouldn't know. I, I'm not that yeah. good. <laughs> but so I've heard. Jake's ready for it. Oh, yeah. We're about to transition here uh, for Jake. There we go. Uh-oh, a little bit of a misdrop. I'd say that was oh, more, nice. more than a little. Oh. But he, he did a nice tuck to uh, oh, yeah. keep it clean. Look at that. That's, yeah. that's how you recover, folks. Chad's about to transition now. He's Tetris ready. Well, he opts not to take the triple. Wow. But now this time he takes it. I can't even see this fast, let alone play. What's the strategy at this point, Vince? Uh, for Chad, you want to stay alive. Okay. And, well, and for Jake, I mean, you want to stay alive yeah. too, but you you want to get Tetris. Tetris, to, there yeah. you. Go. You have a limited amount of lines left in the game, so he's okay. kind of in a rough spot where he has to Tetris. Wow, we've got some hand clapping over here. S something just happened. Jake's about ten lines ahead. And 110,000 points behind. Yeah, he's going to start needing a Tetris. Yeah. He's, he's, he's going for it here. He gets there, it. Oh, he needed that. It's a good feeling when you're going for it and you get it. Yeah. It's not quite a hug oh, from your grandma. He's closing the gap here quickly. Oh, yeah. Terry for the win on the side. Uh, a double Whoa, kill a, screen. A double kill screen Terry victory. Wow. Jake, 24,000 nice down at this point. We're just, yeah, just, that's less than a Tetris. He's proving why he's our Southern qualifier. Yes. I've watched a lot of sports in my life. I feel like I know all the cliches to be a color man. Oh, Chad's up 22. Yeah, yeah, first. Uh-oh. Jake's got a little bit of a Whoa. odd thing going on here. Well, Chad hung on Whoa. and won that one. Wow. Chad takes it. Chad takes it. Wow. Let's give a big round of applause to everyone that made it to the next round and everyone that came and uh oh one, we got one match left one okay we have our number one seed harry hong he's maxed out every day this year <laughs> 